Simplify the following rational expressions. 3 times x minus 4 over 5 times 4 minus x. Now at first, you know, first look it may seem that there's no nothing we can do with this. But if I'm, you know, if I use a little bit of trickery here, if I leave the numerator alone, now the denominator is 5 times. Now what if I factored out a negative 1? If I factor out a negative 1, I would have a negative 4 and a plus x. And so notice that that's 3 times x minus 4 over 5 times negative 1, that's negative 5 times x minus 4. 4 minus, negative 4 plus x is the same as x minus 4. Removing the common factor of x minus 4, we are left with 3 divided by negative 5, negative 3 fifths. Now, in practice, whenever you have something of the form a minus b over b minus a, that's the same as negative 1. So here I had 3 over x minus 4 over 5 times 4 minus x. What I see from that is I have 3 fifths times x minus 4 over 4 minus x. And that is the same as a negative 1. So I have 3 fifths times negative 1 negative three-fifths. All right, so that's something to be aware of. When you see that anything of the form a minus b over b minus a, that's a negative one.